I'm Nathan, and today we're going to take a look at a lesson called Something for Everyone. It's an interactive simulation that takes a look at the management of renewable resources over time, so things like trees or fish. And it's a lesson that is designed for upper elementary and middle school students, and it has elements of science, social studies, and math. And so the goal of this lesson is to get the students to realize that some of their short-term decisions can actually affect the long-term supply of these resources. Okay, so I have my students, so let's get ready to play the game. Now for this game, the resources are going to be represented by chips in the middle. And for this case, since we only have five students, we have 11 chips. But optimally, you want to play this game with about 10 to 15 students, so you're going to have more chips in the middle when you play. And also, you don't want the students to know that these chips actually represent the renewable resources. That's something that you want them to figure out as the game goes on. So, you want to tell them these seven rules. Number one, the chips belong to all of you, okay? There's going to be rounds, and these rounds are going to be signified by music playing. When that music begins, that means the round begins. And when that round begins, you can grab as many chips as you like, okay? Get ten chips, trade that in for a piece of candy, okay? When the music stops, that means the round is over. But if you grab a chip, there's no putting it back, okay? Once you grabbed it, it's yours, okay? Now when the round's over, I'll take a look, or in your case, you will take a look as a teacher and see how many chips are left in the middle. However many there are left, you can double it. But there will never be more chips in the middle than there are at the beginning of the game. So in our case, 11 is the maximum amount of chips that there can be in the middle. So that means if there's 7 at the end of the round, I'll still double that up to 11. Okay? So I won't be putting 14 chips in there. I'll just be hitting a ceiling of 11. So the kicker rule is, there's no talking. Can't communicate to each other. Okay? You guys ready? You guys understand? Let's start round one. Okay, does anybody have ten? No. And I'll there's nothing left in the middle, guys. Game's over. Do you wanna give it another shot? Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, does anybody have 10? No. no. There's none left. Can't double zero. Game's over again. You want to give one last shot? Yeah. Okay, how about this time you can communicate before the round? So if you want to strategize, go ahead. Okay. So I think we should all take one. That way there's enough left to double at the end. Is that okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Okay, anybody have 10? No. no. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six left in the middle. So I'll put that back up to 11. And you can play as many rounds as you like, as long as there's chips left in the middle. And after you're done playing, there's discussion questions in the back of the lesson plan. And so hopefully you guys can toss out maybe what the chips represent. And that is something for everyone. Parse is not a word. <laughs>